Hey guys, George of Soundtracks here. This week we're going to talk a little bit about setting custom speed curves, what that can do for your model, and how to do it. So let's get started. So guys, first off, with the Tsunami 2, I do want to talk about the fact that we have improved the motor control algorithms. We have improved the way the back EMF is being read off the motor so that you have more precise control of your model at any speed throughout the speed range. Now, with the Tsunami original, we only had one way to adjust a custom speed table, and that was CB66 through 95. So we'll talk about what those are in a minute, but we wanted to dive a little deeper into some of the features that the Tsunami 2 has to help give you an advantage over the original Tsunami. Now, the original Tsunami did not support CB5 and 6, which is VMAX and VMID respectively. And basically what it does is it takes your speed table and turns it into a three-point speed curve. Now what this will do is this gives you a quick down and dirty way to adjust just a couple of CVs if you just need to slightly speed up the locomotive or slow it down to match with another locomotive. So I'm going to show you really quickly how this will work. So right now we're going to go ahead and unmute. We're going to run at about speed step 20. Now there's no momentum so you'll see instant changes to everything. Now what VMID does, which is CV6, what this will do will it'll adjust the midpoint of our speed table. Now by default this is zero, which means you have a linear speed table throughout the speed range. But when I take this CV and I adjust it down from about midpoint, which is 128, you will see the locomotive slow. So to give it a more drastic effect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set CV6 to a value of 50 while the locomotive is running. And then I'm going to take CV5, which is my VMAX, and I'm going to adjust it down, which is a value of 100. Now you can see once those CVs take effect, how the locomotive has slowed. Now I have not adjusted the speed. As you can see, the throttle is still set to speed step 20. So you can see how those CV changes have adjusted the speed of the locomotive. Now I did this as a more drastic so you can see the effect, but you can make subtle changes to the values of CB5 and 6 to match another locomotive. Now these CVs I do want to point out, CB5 and 6 are enabled by default. So if you do not choose to use alternate speed tables in CB29, you have access to change CB5 and 6 as soon as you put the decoder on the track. Now one of the more refined ways to help adjust the speed is to go out and adjust each of the 28 steps for a percentage of the amount of throttle that's applied to the motor. Now you can do that with CV67 through 94, which represent each of the 28 speed steps. Now, but first, in order to enable that, we have to enable the alternate speed tables in CV29, which then disables 5 and 6 and enables CV66 through 95. The other thing you want to do is to make sure that CV25 is set to a value of 16 to enable the custom speed table. Now the way this works, CV67 represents speed step 1 and a value of 0 to 255 represents 0 to 100 percent of the throttle. So by default this CV is set to a value of 9 which represents 1 28th of 100 percent. Now each of those increments are about 9 as you work your way through. So CV68 would be a value of 18, CV69 would be a value of 27, and so on. All the way up to a value of 255 and to CV94. Now you can adjust this however your heart's content. If you want to have full speed applied at speed step 1 and slowly reduce the throttle as you go through the speed step, the good news is you have the customizability to do it. I have no idea why you would want to do that, but you can do it. This gives you the ability to really have a master control over the entire speed. Now, this is in 28 speed step mode, but the decoder is smart enough to interpolate between each of those when you're using 128 speed step mode, which we recommend, because it takes 0 to 100 percent of the throttle and divides it up by 128 times. So each increment of the throttle is a smaller, little more precise change so that you can be more precise with your speed. But you can use this in 28 speed step as well. 
Now, the other two CVs that we talked about, CV66 and CV95, are what are called the forward and reverse trim, respectively. And what this does is these CVs initially are there to help compensate for different changes in the way the motor turns the model in forward or reverse. For example, our diesels and especially our steam locomotives tend to run forward a whole lot more often than they run backwards. And so therefore, the gears may be more broken in in that direction. So therefore, the motor turns more efficiently. But when you go in reverse, it may be not as quite as efficient. And so what this does, this allows you to slightly increase the power to one direction or the other so that you get a predictable even response regardless of direction. Now this is really going to come in handy when it comes to diesels when we can run those locomotives facing whichever way so that that way you get that same speed throughout the speed range. Now the last thing I'll talk about is this method of speed matching can be done for any decoder in the Tsunami product line to match any other brand decoder you have out there. So if for any reason you have one of the other brands, uh, non-winners of the Model Railroaders Reader's Choice Award, and you want to match the Tsunami 2 to that, you can do that with the CVs that we've given you. And you can get really precise control. Now one other little note is a lot of people want those couplers to just barely be touching the good news is the real world, they bump and buck all over the place. So don't get too fretted over the precise speed matching. Have fun with it, get close, and let's run some trains. So guys, thank you very much. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, be sure to check out our user's guide on our website at soundtracks.com. And if you need further assistance, give us a call here at the office.